Good morning, everyone. Today is December 3rd. Um, so it is the third day of my short story and chocolate advent calendar unveiling. Smokey is all up in my grill right now, so she obviously wants to get on camera. Here yeah, she is. She's always a little bit more pleasant in the mornings. Um, a little more willing to be held and comforted. So um, let's start with my chocolate advent calendar. Hey, okay, number three. I will say yesterday's chocolate was delicious. It was that um, like dark chocolate Santa Claus. Um, and it was filled with a, like a vanilla ganache. Oh, so good. Okay, today is a cute little snowman. Again, 3D. Very nice. And which one is this filled with? Oh, this is filled with a milk chocolate ganache too. Yum. I can't wait to dive into this after I'm done filming this video. Okay, Smokey, you're kind of in the way here. So today's story, number three, again with the triangle theme, still enjoying that. It's called Endless City by Zachary Mason. And according to the bio in the back, this is kind of interesting. He works in artificial intelligence. So he was obviously a really smart guy. Um, it seems like he kind of writes uh, in, his, in his off time. Um, I don't know if maybe working in AI is his full-time job. Probably, because it's hard to make a living as a writer. That I know for sure. Um, this story is based on the um, tales of, you know, Homer's Odyssey. And um, the characters that Zachary uses are all, you know, well known to us if you're familiar with those myths. So Odysseus, Agamemnon, Achilles makes an appearance, um, Helen of Troy, that sort of thing. I remember studying like at least one of these myths in university at some point in my English literature degree. And I remember being really bored by them then, and I am still bored by them now. <laughs> Um, I mean, I read this entire story, but I don't think I got a lot out of it. Like, you know, it's all about it, this one particular night and, you know, the Battle of Troy and the, the I, I can't even really tell you what happened. It was just like, it was told from Odysseus's perspective and he was very clever and, you know, would get in disguises and sneak through walls and, um, the the structure of the story is really interesting it's kind of on an endless loop and it um they all kind of there's various stories that sort of meld into each other towards the end ah uh, yeah it just wasn't for me um as you can probably tell by my i i just <laughs> it just it wasn't for me um but you know it could be interesting to many different people and that's the entire point of an advent calendar right is that you get a little bit of everything in it so just because i didn't like this story doesn't mean other people won't so i'm really looking forward to seeing other people's reviews of this one in particular um yeah i i don't think there's much else to say other than this wasn't for me but that doesn't mean that everyone else will hate it and I mean, hate is a strong word. I just, I don't think I know enough about the myths or remember enough at least to really get involved in it. Um, it and it was a short story too, so it, it didn't drag out too long. I mean, the writing was okay. He, he included these, um, you know, little footnotes at the bottom of some of the pages to kind of fill in the blanks for those of us who um, aren't really familiar with this, with this period, but um, it didn't really help me and I'm just not engaged enough to research it on the internet or anything like that. So there's my review for today. Smokey's just cuddling up beside me here. Um, we will speak with you tomorrow and I'll probably wash my hair then. I'm going to try to get some more decorations on our Christmas tree today if I have some time. But I probably won't. <laughs> so, but I w do want to change my background to not just the fireplace and make it a little more Christmassy for you guys in the next few days. I promise that will happen soon. My tree might just be half decorated in the next few videos. But um, I will speak with you guys tomorrow on December 4th. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Ciao!